Hey, what's up guys? Hunter Carnage here. And uh, you may be thinking to yourself right now, why in the hell am I looking at a Mirror's Edge skin right now? Well, I initially had an idea to start with, start a new series on my channel called Throwback Sunday, where I was going to play games from around 2008 to now, or not now, but uh, 2010. But I decided if I'm going to do a walkthrough of a game, I probably shouldn't upload it only once a week. So I decided I'm going to upload this one just the same as I do Prototype 2 and Dishonor and all those other games. And just play this throughout the same way. And uh, if you guys have any ideas of any of the older games, like from um, 2008 to 2011, early 11 maybe, that I could uh, play, you can leave me in the comment section. I'll, I'll think about doing those too. But, um,. Yeah, let's get started with this one. I'm probably just gonna complete um, the training mode in this episode, and the intro and everything like that, and try try to reintroduce Once myself to the game. Once the pulse with energy, dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. But I love this game when it first came, came out. I, first. I fell in love with it, the trailer and Most everything like didn't that. Realize or didn't care and accepted them they chose a comfortable life some didn't and those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines criminalized they became our clients we call ourselves runners we exist on the edge between the gloss and the reality the mirror's edge we keep out of trouble out of sight and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta All keep right. sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds. Pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around duty. So get to her and just go with the flow. Okay? Alright. Oh. So cool. Welcome back. Don't think you'll be seeing yourself soon. And I've always debated with myself about whether I like the free running on this game or the free running on Assassin's Creed more. I think I'm, I don't know, it's kind of a hard decision, but both of them are good. I love the first person view in Mirror's Edge though, definitely. Makes it a little bit more realistic and uh, personal. Well, like I said, guys, if you have any more suggestions on what games I should play, then they're definitely welcome. I was thinking about doing 
thinking about doing Splinter Cell Conviction. It seemed like a pretty uh, cool game, but I don't know. It came out around the same time as this one, I believe, so. Damn, girl. Scratch up her face with that bond wire. Alright. To the old skitter on close to the ground. Alright, guys, I feel like I passed that part. I skipped over. I know you guys don't want to see me do it over and over again. Let's just skip through it. Oh, yeah. Alright. Where'd she go? There you are. What's up, bro? Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. You ready? Yeah. Okay, come on. What should I do? <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Alright. Damn. Alright. Alright. Let's run through some weapon disarms. Just in case. Pretty cool. How did I fail? Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you gotta fight. Beautiful. Smacked her in the back of the fucking head. Alright. Cool beans. Okay, that's enough training, ladies. Got to get to the real thing. All right. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the part one of the Mirror's Edge walkthrough. Uh, come back for the next episode. It's going to be up pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out.